Bobby, Garfield, it's time you learned where the fire exit is. In case of fire, go straight to your swinging pet door. Do you understand? Don't worry, I know exactly what to do. Hmm, maybe I'd better give them a little test. That was very clever of you, John. Thanks. I knew they'd pick up on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulders Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you go For a walk in the park or a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care So if someone wants you to change the channel, kids, just say no. We're almost there, guys. Wasn't it nice of my friends to loan us their cabin in the mountains for the weekend? Couldn't you find any friends with a condo on Maui? Next to a good Italian restaurant? Hey, Odie. How come you're not hanging your head out the window? Oh, come on. Dogs love to hang out a car window, letting their tongues flap in the breeze. Aren't you just dying to do this? Oh. Hey now, isn't this great? This is a real rustic cabin. Rustic. It's another way of saying dump. You like this place, Odie? Yeah, yeah. You call this a vacation spot? Where's the color TV? Where's the sauna? Has this place even been sanitized for my protection? Ahem. I guess I should have brought food. <laughs> I'll go to that little market we saw down the hill. Be right back. Three days in a cabin with no TV and no phone and no microwave. It takes someone of very low intelligence to be happy here. I rest my case. And a dozen eggs. No, make that two dozen. And a couple of steaks. Got enough food here for a small army. Small army, huh? That's not enough for Garfield. Let me know when I have enough for a large army. Don't blame you stocking up. Not with that big blizzard tonight. Blizzard? I'd better get back to the cabin. I can't leave Garfield and Odie alone. <laughs> You'd uh, probably like me to pay for these, wouldn't you? Might be nice. I'll move to here. Ha! I win. Hey, wait a minute. You cheated. I did not. Did too. Did not. Did. I don't want to play with you anymore. What do you see out there, Odie? Uh-oh. That isn't dandruff falling out there. We'd better get out of here before we get snowed in.
too late. I have to get through. Sorry, all roads are closed. But I have a cat and a dog in a cabin up there, and they don't have any food. Don't worry. Cat can go without food for a long time. Yeah, this one I'd say for almost an hour. I don't know how long we can hold out, Odie. I haven't had anything to eat in... <laughs> almost an hour. <laughs> No, boy, you can't go outside. We're snowbound. There must be food here somewhere. Look! A cracker! Cody, I found a cracker! I'm saved! I'm not saved. I'm... Don't worry, Odie. It's not an avalanche. It's just my stomach rumbling. I told you, you can't go out. I have to get my mind off food. If I think about food, I'll go bananas and apples and pie and ice cream and... No, I won't think about food. I'll think about this cabin. What a cheesy place. Cheese. No, there's too much at stake. Steak. I'm coming, Garfield. I'm coming. Uh, eventually. Filet mignon. And shrimp chow mein. Spaghetti marinara. Ah. There must be a picture of meatballs in here somewhere. I said no, Odie. This is it. The end. I'll never see John again. I'll never taste lasagna again. I'll never see Nermal again. Okay, so things aren't all bad. I need to make out my will. I, Garfield, do hereby leave everything I own to... Nah, I'll take it all with me. We're starving away to nothingness and all you can think about is going out? Okay, I don't care. Go freeze your doggy nose off. Go get lost in the snow. See if... Luigi's drive through Lasagna Palace. We're saved! We're saved! Lasagna! Ha -ha! Lasagna! Ha -ha! Sorry, Cat. We close at 8 sharp. You can't do this to me. You can't. You knew this was here all the time, didn't you? Why didn't you tell me? So close, and yet, so far. Well, Odie, this is it. I'll have dinner ready in a sec. Thanks. Well, I guess this is the end, Odie. They'll never find us in time. You weren't such a bad friend. A little dumb at times, a little wet, but... Field? What's gotten into you? I've only been gone about two hours. I'm making you my specialty. Southern fried pig's liver with chocolate sauce. Hey, that hungry, I'm not. I wonder if they have a picture of lemon meringue pie for dessert. Help! 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 Lemon is yo-yoing Sheldon again. Fear not, 
Booker. I have a plan. Next, we'll try some bowling. Stop picking on my buddy Sheldon, or I'll mess you up. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Boy, you have the strangest looking belly button in the world. Ow! She's not as dumb as she looks. Scary story, Orson. Are you sure you can handle it, Sheldon? <laughs> <laughs> no scary story's too scary for me. All right. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Too scary. The worm. <laughs> this is the only way out. And he can't get out as long as I sit here. Nothing. I say nothing on earth is gonna get me the butt from this spot. <laughs> ah! Ach du lieber eine flying chicken. You, you scared me. What are you so edgy about? Orson, you read me a scary story. I'm gonna go hide. <laughs> That's even scarier. Roy, why are you playing the wake-up call now? It's 9.30. I'm on daylight savings time. Hey, what's wrong with our friend, the egg? Oh, Orson read him a scary story. Like about a monster or something. Gee, I wonder what kind of monster it was. I don't get it. Nothing's growing here. Hey, you seeds! If you know what's good for you, you'll grow! Come on, grow, or I'll feed you to the crows! Hey, chill down, sis. That's no way to talk to seeds. Try like this. Okay, guys, everyone up. Sunshine and time to make an entrance, dudes. Very funny! Hey, why is everything shaking? Uh, it's just my sister. She's like uh, a little lot in the mouth department. Oh, I thought maybe Orson told you about the monster. I got the scarecrow. Scarecrow? <laughs> Those things never work. Says who, chicken lips? This is the ugliest scarecrow in the world. Let me see. Ho, ho. Very funny, highly comedic. Oh, I cannot stop laughing. Guffaw, guffaw. Speaking of scary, Orson said something about a monster being around. Monster? Today is the day I am going to conquer my fear of going in the pond. Ducks gotta swim. After all, everyone says I am a coward. Who am I to go against popular opinion? No! I will do this! Pond, I am going to conquer you! A fish did bad things. Well, why are you worried about fish? Haven't you heard? There's a monster running around here. What are those things? Monster, help! Orson, help! Assistance! There is a monster lurking about. A monster? That's ridiculous. It's true. I had this from an excellent source. A monster, hmm? Well, this looks like a job for... da 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 da, -da Power Pig! Uh, just let me slip into my costume. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> uh, wardrobe difficulties. Monster! Hello, monster! Yeah, any monsters in here? 
take a telephone call for any monsters. Orson, I, I mean Power Pig. I found the... <laughs> Monster. You did? It's over in Lanolin's good garden. There it is. Save us from the... More... I... I'll do it! And your monster's got horns! Hey! Come back with my scarecrow! Ha! Gotcha, worm! Take that! Hump that! Hump that! Take that and tell him! Tell him! Eight thousand six, eight thousand seven, eight thousand eight! Eight thousand eight! But he hadn't even used it yet. Wait a minute. Wade told me there was a monster around here. What made him think a stupid thing like that? You told me there was. Oh, that's right. Well, Bo told me. Roy told me. Booker told me. Sheldon told me. Told you about what? All I told you was what Orson told me. All right. Enough. I've had enough. I'm going for a long walk in the country. What did Orson say he was doing? He said he was going to the country. Orson's going to a country? A country? You mean like Spain? Orson's going to Spain? Orson's moving to Spain forever? Isn't it peculiar how the truth gets out of hand? It starts out as a fact, then they stretch it like a rubber band. They take the smallest detail and turn it upside down. They tell someone else, now there's a rumor going round. One tells the rumor, someone else adds a little more Till it's not the same rumor, but it's better than before Never spread rumors, just for the simple fact It might be a lie, it might be the truth, but it's blown all out of whack Never spread rumors, some people stretch the truth Don't even listen to rumors, don't believe everything you hear Never spread rumors, that's not the thing to do would you like someone spreading rumors about you? Garfield, did you see the... Well, look at that! That's really terrific! Garfield, how did you teach Odie to do that? I glued his head to the table. Garfield, you have got to stop doing these things. I'm going to send you to bed without your supper. I've already had my supper. Oh, wait, you've had your supper already. Okay, I'll send you to bed without your post-supper snack. I already had my post-supper snack. No, I gave you that already. All right, I'm sending you to bed without your post-post-supper snack. Already had two of them. Wait, I've got it. I'm sending you to bed without your pre-bedtime, post-midnight snack meal. Did I have that yet? No, I didn't. No, not my pre-bedtime, post-midnight snack meal. No, no. Boy, I wish just once you could be in my shoes and know what it's like to put up with you. Oh, that cat doesn't know how easy he has it. Just lying around all day, eating. Oh, boy, I wish I could have a life like that. He thinks it's easy being a cat. Ha! Huh. Would I love to trade places with him? <sighs> Gee. I think I feel a dream sequence coming on. <sighs> Boy, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since my pre-bedtime, post-midnight snack meal. Time to wake him up. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? This is my dream. Hey, it's my dream too. And I'm here because I want pancakes for breakfast. Pronto. All right. By the way, flamenco dance, nice touch.
Who replaced my shave cream with whipped cream? I thought I might put you in the mood for strawberry shortcake. Oh, good. Powdered sugar. John! Hey, don't blame me. It's your dream sequence. Wonder who it could be this early. Ah, Mr. Atweiler from next door. It's that cat of yours again. He tried to eat my fern last night. Well, that's no big deal. A cat trying to eat a plant. Fern is not a plant. She's a toucan. John, how many times have I... John! Shoving Odie off the table is the wrong thing to do. You're right. I have a sneakier idea. My cat did what yesterday? Really? The whole cow? Huh? Pilot to co-pilot. You are cleared for takeoff. He did what? Oh, just send me the bill. Yes, he's my cat. He did what to your supermarket? Miles three through nine, really? Odie! Mm. Odie! Don't worry, Odie. I'll save ya. Hmm, I don't know what to have, so I'll have everything. That's the guy with the cat! That cat put gelatin in my bird bath so the pigeons would bounce off! It's that guy's fault! Let's get, get it! it. Get There's no food left in this entire house. What am I gonna do? I know. I'll let it go cheap for a small down payment in lasagna. Uh-oh! Don't worry, Odie. I don't want to be a person. I want to be me again. I'm going to pinch myself and end this dream sequence. Where's John? I have to make sure he's not me, or I'm not him, or... No! Don't take me to the vet! I'll be a good cat! I... Uh, no! Oh, no! I'm still a cat! Oh, Garfield, I'm so glad I'm me. And I'm glad I'm me. <laughs> and we're both glad we're not Odie. <laughs>